dear learner, welcome to our competency-based digital lessons. Our learning area in this lesson is science and technology for grade 5. In this digital lesson, we will identify the characteristics of each group of vertebrates. This knowledge will enable us answer the following two questions. Question number one, what differentiates mammals from birds? And question number two, what are the differences between mammals and reptiles? These are mammals. They give birth to their young ones. Their bodies are covered with fur. Mammals are warm-blooded. Their body temperature does not change with that of the surroundings. Which mammals do you keep at home? Take care of them. Feed them. Give them water. Keep their shelter clean. Did you know, a mammal that flies is a bat. There are two mammals that lay eggs. These are, one, the spiny and eater, and two, the duck-billed platypus. Now you know. Did you know, dolphins, whales, and seals are mammals that live in water. They are called marine mammals. Now you know. <coughs> These are birds. They lay eggs that hatch into young ones. Their bodies are covered with feathers. They have beaks. They have claws and scales on their feet. They also have wings. Birds are warm-blooded. Their body temperature does not change with that of the surroundings. An ostrich is a bird that does not fly. Which birds do you keep at home? Take care of them. Feed them. Give them water. Keep their shelter clean. These are reptiles. They lay eggs that hatch into young ones. Their bodies are covered with scales. They breathe through their lungs. Reptiles are cold-blooded. This means that their body temperature changes with that of the surroundings. These are amphibians. They live partly in water and partly on land. Amphibians have a moist skin without scales. They lay eggs that hatch into young ones. The young ones of frogs and toads are called tadpoles. Tadpoles breathe through the gills. Amphibians are cold-blooded. This means that their body temperature changes with that of the surroundings. Examples of amphibians are toads, frogs, salamanders, and newts.
These are fish. They live in water. They have fins. Their bodies are covered with scales. They breathe by means of gills. They lay eggs that hatch into young ones. Fish are cold-blooded. This means that their body temperature changes with that of the surroundings. Examples of fish are sharks, Nile perch, trout and tilapia. What animals do you keep at home? In what ways do you care for them? Did you know that animals have rights? It is important to care for the animals we keep at home. We must provide them with food, water, and good shelter. We must seek treatment for them when they get sick. 
We must keep their shelters clean at all times. Our wild animals, on the other hand, are a source of revenue. They attract tourists. We must protect these animals from poachers. We must also protect their habitats. These are the areas where the animals live. Dear learner, that is it for now. Goodbye thank you for participating in this digital lesson.